the suspect in a mail bombing spree targeting critics of President Donald Trump has been identified. Cesar Alti or Sayak was taken into custody on Friday morning in Plantation, Florida in connection with the 12 suspicious packages that have been discovered this week. According to Sayak's Facebook page, he is a Trump fan who posted pictures and videos of himself at one of the president's rallies in October 2016. He posted a photograph of himself wearing a MAGA hat in front of the U.S. Capitol in 2017. He is Native American, and according to a picture posted on his social media page, he is a member of the Seminole Tribe of Florida. In a post a year ago, Sayok shared a photograph of Governor Rick Scott and Donald Trump, writing, The greatest governor in country Florida Rick Scott and great friend of we unconquered Seminole Tribe. Trump Trump Trump. He shared bodybuilding pictures and appears to have worked in a strip club. He expressed his dislike of Hillary Clinton and posted stories about incidents of Islamic terrorism. Trump addressed the arrest in remarks at the White House, saying, we must never allow political violence to take root in America. He promised swift and certain justice and said the suspect would be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. The suspect in his 50s was arrested in front of an AutoZone store in Plantation, a police source tells DailyMail.com. Michelle Taylor, a nurse at the Senior Medical Associates Clinic, saw police taking a vehicle believed to be Sayox into custody. We've been in the office for an hour and we're so nervous, she said. The police were surrounding some kind of a van. Thank God we are done with our patients for the day and there's only two of us in here. A witness who works at Marlins Insurance said dozens of police cars descended on the area around State Road 7 and SW 8th Street about 10 a.m., a few feet away from her office. It's really bad, the woman said by telephone. She declined to give her name. We heard a loud bang, like a bomb exploding. Police officers who told us to stay inside said they were arrested the guy who's been sending bombs all over the place. It's pretty scary, but we're inside trying to get some work done. The suspect is reportedly a former resident of New York who is living in Florida. The 12 mail bombs are all believed to have been handled by a regional mail sorting facility in southern Florida. The suspect is known to law enforcement and has a history of making terroristic threats to judges, sources said. Heavy police activity was seen in Plantation, Florida, a town to the west of Fort Lauderdale and directly south of Sunrise, the location of Debbie Wasserman Schultz's office, which the bombs listed as a return address. Police impounded a white panel van that is believed to be connected to the investigation. The Department of Justice announced a press conference for 2.30 p.m. at which further details are expected to be available. Earlier in the day, the investigators said they had found two new packages believed to be part of the mail bombing spree, addressed to Senator Cory Booker and former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper. The package to Booker was found on Thursday night at a mail sorting facility in Florida, and the package addressed to Clapper was found at a postal facility in Manhattan on Friday. The two new packages marked the 11th and 12th suspected mail bombs in a spree that has targeted critics of Trump. Trump's first public response to the latest suspicious packages was a tweet at 10.19 a.m. reading, Republicans are doing so well in early voting and at the polls, and now this bomb stuff happens and the momentum greatly slows news not talking politics. Very unfortunate, what is going on? Republicans, go out and vote.